Arizona. Let's go to Arizona. We got a special guest out here from That's Arizona. Right. That's we got, right. We got we got a we got a Jack Leeson. Our man, Mr. Hey, Jack Leeson from Keep Major Keep League Keep Training. Look at you, man. Oh man. What we are we, what we, are we looking yeah, at out here? We Jack? need to teleport to Arizona, man. All right, so we are. I got the putting green back here. I don't know if you guys call, but <laughs> perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm out here in that, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, with a couple of friends. Actually, this is my friend's parents' house. Um, and uh, we're just enjoying the Labor Day weekend. So I came out a little early. Got out last night Chicago. The weather has been terrible. I, like, I got to get, get my warm weather again. But, of course, it's always like the day I land, the markets just absolutely take, tank, and I miss, like, the best trading day all month. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm eating breakfast, and the S&P was down, like, I saw, like, 40 some points. I mean, and then the oil, what a move in oil. Yeah. What would, was yeah. there any news in oil? Could you guys update me on that? Cause I haven't, I have not been on the top. The yeah. We're just about today. $58, man. You're talking about almost $4 and 50 cents. We got that EIA yesterday. We we're talking about it. You had crude trading at 6250. We almost touched 58. And right now we're trading 5838 down. Uh, it's about, a monster, Jack. We've been telling it's, it's amazing. It is. That, yeah. That move in oil, I would have really liked to be on. I mean, oh my goodness. I, I, I when I woke up and looked at that, I was just gone. I, I don't even have like the right uh, computer equipment on me because I only brought my MacBook, which I don't have my future software on. But boy, oh boy, am I missing a great day well, that, of that, trading. I, I, think that, I think that yeah, the MacBook, you better download some more software too because I think they got the date wrong because well, it's Memorial Day weekend, not Labor Day weekend. Jack. Oh, that's right. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I, and I can't believe I messed that up. I always get the two, you know, as long as I got a day off. But yeah, I mean, support the troops. Uh, my grandfather was a World War II veteran, so I was. Uh, this is a big holiday for me. He had passed away a year ago um, this weekend. So to everybody who served in our armed forces and continues, thank you. That's a beautiful Got the American thing. flag totally. right here. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> Uh, but uh, what what else is on you guys' radar? So as far as a point, I'm really really watching is 2794. It's just below that the low we have in the S and P 500 on the day. Uh, but man, if we start getting below that, guys, and this trade war is going full blown out. I was reading a couple of headlines uh, this morning. You know, the United States is really going after that QA company. Yeah. Um, and 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 this, you know, guys, this could get to be the most fault. This could be more. Do you think? 2019 ends up being more volatile than the end of 2018. You know, do we do we return to that volatility we had at the beginning of the year? What I've what been guys mentioning think? is that this election's coming steamlining at us, right. and the rhetoric's only going to get ramped up. And right. then there's going to be a fear that if a Democrat comes, it's going to be heavy regulations. That's going to add volatility. Yeah. Um, and that's probably going to cause President Trump to ramp up the trade war rhetoric if really you come to the election. So I, I see as in what, what do you, is, are things going to calm down as we approach November 2020? My goodness, I don't know. Uh, and, yeah. and I think my, my take on this right now is that even if a Democrat gets in, this trade war is not going to be over. Because what has happened here is that you start on a, yeah. on a trade war. Now this is a real war about technology well no it should be yeah. and i think right. that's no, where there, there is that's right. something right it's no, real that's it's where real. that should it's be a real. it's real I mean, it I've should kept, be a bipartisan yeah. yeah yeah i mean the, the, what what they've been doing and the advantages that's a, i think you know it's unfortunate because the media doesn't talk enough about what's actually going on on the back end as far as technology transfer and how much how much of a job destruction that is to the u.s economy and you know i mean it's it's definitely some sacrifices we'll see how it plays out but uh, I mean, obviously, China's, I mean, you know, the more I read about them with their whole social, uh, they have the social rating system. Yeah. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's crazy. It, it, yeah. it's, well, it's, that's like, going to change. I mean, it, it's still, you know, they're better off than they were 30 years ago, 40 years ago. I mean, that that's not going to change. It's the Communist Party. That's, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But that, yeah. the, this this deal is about who's going to control the world, man. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and we do not want to lose control. Right. You know, and, right. and it's more than even just maybe the stock market not staying at all time highs. You know, there, there's more important issues here at stake. Um, but uh, I also was it that he did he drive. I, I saw that there was some uh, uh, some battleships that went through the uh, Taiwan Strait or something. And maybe that was creating some volatility. Uh, apparently, we haven't done that in a while. But I know Taiwan's a huge issue. So. so I mean, I just hope this thing never goes military. That's all I, I ask. No, for. that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. it's, you know, but I can tell you the when you when you talk about S and P profits, that's where we're at. That's where this thing is is right now. And then it's going to be the aspect of okay, where where do you move factories? Where do you, you know you know 
do prices actually go up? Prices are going to go up for us. So the real question is going to be, you know, does inflation catch it all? Or does people start losing jobs because the larger companies are losing money? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts. Right that now, uncertainty man. should add to volatility, right? And I agree right. with everything. We're all bringing right. up good points. It's like, man, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. I mean, we're going to start having debates like in no time. We're going to start having primaries in like no time in terms of so really be, you know, I can't see that adding to the calmness on top of like you're saying, it's yeah. still going to be trade war. It's still going to, you know, that yeah. stuff is not going away as you're going to add a presidential election into uh, the mix. Well, and it's out. such a, head, a headlining market. I mean, for me, especially like as a day trader, like, you know, I, I mean, I personally always trade with stops. But one thing for everybody out there who's listening, just to know, like, guys, you got to have your stops in because especially if you're on a shorter time frame, um, this market can get ugly quick to the upside or to the downside, depending yeah. on what position you're on. But, uh, yeah. you know, this is this is a great opportunity for a lot of people. Um, and for other people who don't navigate the markets as nimbly, I mean, this is probably a stressful, a stressful yes. time to begin. Right. All right. We've had days up, down, all around in both directions. Yeah. So if you're wrong, right, take that stop because, you know, even if you're bearish or if you're bullish, you can make that same trade tomorrow and you might be right again um, you, you the way the market's exactly. trading. Every, every yeah. day is different. Every it is, is different. up, down, all around, man. Just wait for the next tweet, the next news cycle. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So you're gonna cool. jump in that water, Jack? Look at that sun, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I was in the hot tub, hot tub last night, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump in the water. I'm gonna the climb this. It's called Tom's Thumb over here. Okay. So I'm gonna go, do a quick hike, and uh, yeah, I mean, this this is just you know, this is God's country. That's awesome, man. Well, well, listen, but, man, sorry, you, man, you have a great weekend, safe Memorial Day. Always great talking to you. You stay out there for a while because, uh, well, Chicago's to 80 degrees today, so. Yeah, Peace, well, brother. You know, I, I was 50 the other day when I booked my ticket, so. It's perfect. Hey, thanks, thanks so much, care, Jack. Guys. Thanks, Jack. Have a great, Have a great weekend, safe, man. You too. Thanks. You gotta love it. That's great, man. <laughs> it's perfect. Live from <laughs> sunny Arizona, <laughs> man, totally. right in front of the pool. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 318. NASDAQ's up 104. S&P's down 33. Come right back.